Police. Sky's Europe correspondent Mark Stone is in Cologne. Look at that, um, that banner just beyond the German flags there. Uh, it says, if you can make it out, rape fugees. Um, clearly, uh, the message there, inappropriate as it may be for many, many people, uh, is that the refugees that uh, Angela Merkel has um, encouraged to come into uh, Germany, uh, numbering a million now, more than a million, uh, are wholly responsible for what happened here on New Year's Eve. Um, that is uh, clearly not the case. When you look at the figures, it's not the case of the 31 people that the, that the German police uh, have, uh, have uh, detained following New Year's Eve. Uh, only 18 were asylum seekers, and of those 18, uh, only four were from Syria and one were, were from Iraq, which means that only five of those 31 were possible uh, refugees. Th those are the facts, um, but the facts are what they are. Th these people are, are here gathering to um, express their frustration, their deep frustration, their anger at Angela Merkel's decision to simply open the doors and allow everyone, excuse me, there's a train just going past, we're, we're outside the train station here, uh, they're, they're protesting Angela Merkel's decision to allow everyone in, simply to open the doors, uh, and for some time there weren't even that many checks going on. Uh, it has been tense at times, there haven't been any clashes at the moment, but just round here on the other side, uh, there is a police um, cordon uh, put in place by some uh, police vans. Beyond that uh, is a, a rather different atmosphere. Uh, there are uh, left-wing groups who have uh, gathered on the other side, uh, calling for, frankly, just the opposite of what the right-wing um, community here is calling for. They are saying uh, that uh, the refugees should be welcomed, uh, and they are broadly backing uh, Angela Merkel's decisions to, to open uh, the borders and to allow so many people in. Uh, Angela Merkel, incidentally, last night and again this morning has indicated that she wants to change the law. Uh, at the moment, the law means that uh, if, if a, uh, a, an asylum seeker, someone who is wanting to remain in Germany, uh, commits a crime uh, that warrants them to be in jail for three or so years, then they lose the right to be able to stay in, in, in Germany. She wants to change that so that anyone who commit, any asylum seeker who commits any crime, however small, uh, will lose their right to remain in Germany. So, so that is the politics. Just a few moments ago, uh, back here on this stage, the stage of the Pegida protesters, the far-right protesters, uh, we heard a few words from Tommy Robinson. Robinson, he is the former head of the English Defence League, now the self-styled head of the, of the British wing, or the English wing of uh, Pegida. Uh, he was talking a few moments ago. Uh, his message uh, was um, stark. Uh, he said, Islam permits rape. Uh, and he asked for everyone, all refugees, to be removed from Germany and for the Islamization of Germany uh, to stop immediately. So some very extreme views here uh, on both sides. Uh, this, I guess, is the polarization uh, of uh, an issue which Germany is really grappling with at the moment.